hey guys, we are being asked to plug in some points into this equation and then graph it. Okay. Let me tell you what's in your future. In your future, you'll be able to just look at this and graph it without plugging in points. Okay. We're not quite there yet, which is totally okay. Cause this is a great practice and to help you realize what it looks like. Okay. So basically, unless your teacher gives you specific points to plug in for X, you can plug in whatever points you want. Now, that being said, we want to go easy on ourselves, right? We don't want to plug in 5,232 because I don't want to do that math. I don't know about you. So we're going to plug in small numbers. A lot of what you'll see a lot of times is people will plug in negative one, zero, and one. Okay. But you don't have to. That's just us trying to be nice and easy to ourselves. Okay. So we are going to plug these in for X and see what we get for Y. Okay. So. First one, we're going to start with negative one. So y equals four times x. We want to know what y is when x is negative one. So we're plugging in negative one for x. When those are written next to each other, they're being multiplied. So it's four times negative one and then minus two. Okay. When we subtract, oh, sorry. When we solve these, we follow order of operations. So we're going to multiply first. So I get y equals four times a negative one is going to give me negative four. And then we still have the minus two on the back. Okay. Negative four minus two. This is like, I owe you $4 and I'm like, I got to borrow two more dollars. I'm sorry. So now I owe you $6, right? Okay. So when X is negative one, Y is negative six. Okay. That is my first point. I could write it as an ordered pair, negative one, negative six, if that looks more familiar, okay? All right, now we are going to plug in zero. I'm gonna put this in a little box so it doesn't get in our way, okay? We'll do it here. So we wanna know what y is when x is zero. These ones are usually pretty easy because four times zero minus two. Well, anything times zero, is zero, right? So that goes away and I'm just left with y equals negative two. Look at that. So when x is zero, y is negative two. Okay. Last one. We want to know what y is when x is one. Okay. So we're going to do y equals four times one minus two. Okay. Four times one gives me four. We're subtracting two. Four minus two gives me two. So when X is one, Y is two. Okay, there's my points. Again, I could write these as ordered pairs if that's helpful for you. Okay, and then we are going to graph these. Okay, you've probably been doing this. This is my X axis, which is the first one, right? And my Y axis, which is the second one. So negative one. Always start at your zero, zero. Negative one, negative six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is my first point, okay? Well, not on the line, but that I am graphing, okay? <laughs> zero, negative two. So remember, we always start in the middle. The zero means I'm going left and right, zero. So I'm just staying there. And then y is negative two, so I'm going down two, okay? In your future, we will call that the y-intercept. Okay. All right. My last order pair is one, two. So again, start at zero, zero, right one up two. Look at that. There is, okay. I can't promise. Hold on. I have a straight edge right here. That is convenient. Okay. Here is my line. So this literally keeps going, right? Because I could plug in any number for X and get a Y, right? So the answers keep going, but the three points give us a good idea of what it looks like. Okay. Hopefully that made sense. I will link some other videos. <clears throat> Sorry. If you need them, um, but hopefully that made sense. Bye.